to the Bashko Show. Welcome to the Bashko Show. <laughs> this is nice. This, this is going to be different today. Yes. I get the feeling it's a very different feel. Yes. So, so, so we're going to take you guys through some stuff today. So we're going to start here mm -hmm. where we talk about some things that you can use in your space. We know that uh, persons, not everyone is able to move around as free. Listen, the Prime Minister said for staying on the yard. So I'm going to show you some things one you can use while on the inside, because inside can get boring. Right? So we're going to spruce up the thing. Spruce it. Spruce spice it. Spice it. That can work. Spruce Something. and spice. We are going to show you two short clips of us talking about various, well, you were talking about the things that you shouldn't things mix. Things that you must not mix up. Yeah. We are not chemists. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't mix those things. And then there's another video we're going to insert to tell you guys about what Bashko is doing to protect both our customers and our staff yeah. from the pandemic uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. And then we're going to show you some clips in the store of what they're actually doing. What we're actually doing yeah. in store. Hey guys, welcome to the Info Corner where it's all about the info and not so much the corner. Right? So today we're going to talk about... Um, chemicals with the whole corona thing i go around you know so we're kind of we're afraid yeah we're gonna put it that way but no need to panic there's a lot of information going out so today we're gonna talk about chemicals that you should not mix no mix them we know scientists so we're not gonna mix them right so the first one is bleach and vinegar i know holy power do this holy power so bleach and vinegar mixture can produce chlorine gas and it can cause you to cough, it can cause you to have short of breath, it can cause you to constantly not being able to breathe properly, right? Um, oh yeah, and the burning on the water eyes, you know, say, you're going to feel like, oh God, I have corona now, and the mix up, mix up, on the blend. Whatever on the blend, up, blend up, shake up, shake up in a bottle, spray, spray all over the place. That's the, that's the reason for that. The bleach and the ammonia, me guilty of that. Bleach and ammonia produce a toxic gas called chloramine. It causes shortness of breath and chest pain. But you know, sometimes you want your bathroom for have the shiny pick and span cleaning something there. So you mix up this and you mix up that. Just forget the pretty looking of the bathroom. No. Use the regular things that is made to do the job. Alright? Bleach and rubbing alcohol. Who do this? Bleach and rubbing alcohol? Bleach and rubbing alcohol makes chloroform, which is highly toxic to your body. So sometimes you always see some look or something that come up and nobody and no wonder. Oh God, I want my have. It's the things that want to mix up. Hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. This combination makes parasitic acid, which can be highly corrosive. So you might have see a bubble up and you say, yeah, man, it's a clean up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are you money to get rid of the germs? Mm -mm. Don't do it. So it's all about reading, going out and, and looking up what you shouldn't do before you attempt to do it. Corona going on, keep safe. Remember, stay inside, sanitize, wash your hand. All of them look at something there. If you touch your key, your phone, wipe your phone, wipe the key, sanitize everywhere. Wipe down your doorknobs and... Uh, our boy Omar are going to tell you some more stuff on other channels about how we in Bashko are keeping ourselves clean and sanitized throughout this period. See ya! Hey guys, it is a very special edition of the Info Corner where I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the growth and development, the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 and what Bashko is doing to protect our customers and our team. So with all of the excitement and the the lack of information the existence of lots of information people are wondering what is bashko doing so i'm going to tell you guys right now at all bashko locations we have implemented increased measures for hygienic safety and security for both customers and our staff so upon entry and throughout the store you will see members of either the regular staffing team or our security team with uh, mixtures of either hand sanitizer or 70% alcohol, which is what you need. It has to be 70% alcohol if you really want to make sure you kill those, those germs on your hands. Uh, preparations to be spraying on your hands when you come into the store. And a bit of a, some advice for you. If you're using hand sanitizer, guys, and you have the hand sanitizer on your hands, you want to be rubbing thoroughly for 25 seconds. A nice slow count, 25 seconds, is the right way to ensure that you've thoroughly covered 
your hands. And when you're washing your hands, because nothing beats washing your hands, guys. Hand sanitizer and alcohol is what you do if you cannot wash your hands. When you're washing your hands, you want to make sure you wash every part of your hand carefully. Every finger, every piece of, of your skin, both the backs of your hands, the inside, the palm of your hand, you rub it well together. If you can, you have the opportunity to wash all the way up your forearms, up to your elbows, and you sing the happy birthday song two times. Or sing the alphabet to yourself, and you wash your hands for the entire duration of the song. Good. As I was saying, you enter the store, we're going to have persons in place to properly help you with hand sanitizer or alcohol preparations to keep your hands nice and clean. And along with that, our team is going to be cleaning thoroughly and sanitizing a lot of areas of the store, all of the store really, but some specific areas, the high traffic areas, the places that are frequently touched, especially in our cashier and checkout areas. We'll be wiping those down with um, whatever is recommended by the Ministry of Health is what we will be using in all of our locations to keep it clean and safe for you guys and for our, our staff. And lastly, but not leastly, of course, we will be doing our best to maintain our supply of those hygienic items that you guys need. We're doing our best. On a global scale, it has become harder to acquire and keep that stuff. We know you guys are, some of you are a little upset with us, but we are, I promise you we're doing our best to make sure we can continue to supply. Please bear with us. We know of some cases where persons are upset we might be rationing some of the things. It's not our intention to make anybody not get so if you come to the store and you want to buy 18 spray bottles and can't get it because we're saying, listen, we're trying to reserve it one per customer for the time being. We're trying our best to make sure everyone can protect themselves, guys. But thank you very much. Uh, just to, to recap quickly, along with all of the other uh, things taking place outside, what Bashko is doing right now is that when you enter any Bashko location, our team will be spraying your hands with hand sanitizer or 70% alcohol preparations. While you go through the store, there will be other staff members around who have hand sanitizer and alcohol if you need some. And along with that, we are sanitizing and disinfecting all high traffic areas very regularly to make sure you are safe and our team is safe, guys. Please remember, stay informed. You want good information. Don't, don't, be, don't take on the panic, guys. Get some information. We do our best to supply it for you here on the Info Corner and elsewhere, guys. Listen out, be safe, please be hygienic, wash your hands regularly, and if you are sick, stay home and alert the important authorities, guys. Thank you very much. This has been the Info Corner. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so this is a really nice setup. Good job, you. High five again. Or... <laughs> oh, right, social distancing. Wait. You don't do this already in a past way sanitized. The important thing about this guys is that you don't wash them. Yes, you keep your hands washed, keep your hands clean, don't panic. Stay informed. Good. So on our table here today yeah. are a variety of items that we're gonna talk about. So which side do you wanna start from? I thought it was nice to get these things because you know Easter is coming up and with the whole stay inside stuff, we we're showing you stuff that you can do on the inside. We can start with this. Yes, guys, if you hear a noise. We are near, uh, we are filming in a different spot than we normally film in for the, for the purposes of this particular show, and we are near a roadway. Yes, and so. the people, them, the government, stuff, stay in them yard, them do in them yard. <laughs> them out of the door. I drive. Mm -hmm. So, what do we have here? Baking tins. Baking tins. Loaf pans, brownie pans. It, it's a brownie pan, but you can basically do whatever you want. You can, that, do like your pan. you can cook in this. You can do anything in this. And since you have that, one of the things that people were asking us on, I think, on the last shows was, can you put some of these in a toaster? And that's what's solving up first. Absolutely, you can. Okay. If you can fit, I mean, we have. We have really big ones. Yeah, yeah. and we have smaller ones that can actually fit in the toaster oven. So. Mm -hmm. How about it? Yeah. So you're saying what for Easter? Yeah, you can make your own bun. You can look up recipes how to make buns at home. And we can probably repost one for We can find yeah, do you know what? We will find a pretty good Easter well, what Yeah, we I can look for my folder from school and just send y'all some. I should I'll send it to you guys. Okay, cool. So that's awesome. You can actually make bread pudding in there, you can make your own bread. All kinds of stuff. I really. mean, only the one. Not nothing <laughs> important. Only can Google the things and Google ingredients and have fun. I think that's the thing. Have fun. Mm -hmm. As you say, people, you, you're going to maybe be feeling a bit of what you call cabin fever in your house for a while. Yeah. You got to create your own atmosphere, guys. You got to create some enjoyment in your space. Now, when I'm talking about creating enjoyment, I want to talk about this because for a couple of reasons. People were asking, 
what happened to these? When we get in them back? I mean, it's 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 crazy how many requests we got yeah, on social media. We got a lot for these. Well, guys, here it is. The deep fryer is back. That usually is followed by better than ever, but it's the same one we usually get. So it's not really better than ever. But it's the exact same one. And you want people to enjoy a meal easy that wasn't hard to cook or whatever? You gotta fry it, cause it's it's awesome. There's nothing not to love about a deep fried food. It's not healthy. Let's be honest. But when you're going to eat fried chicken, you're going to eat fried chicken. There's nothing, nothing between being healthy or whatever. Or fries. Or french fries, or whatever it is. Or fish. I don't think I've ever used a deep fryer to fry fish. You can use it to put little sprat them in there and... It's actually a really cool. Um, one it's day we'll do a... Up, we'll do a We'll do a, a, a demonstration where I'll take this out for you guys and I'll show you kind of how the deep fryer works. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever done that before. So I bought one, you know. I, I I don't know how it works, so that would be good. You have a deep fryer and you never... I do it. not have a deep fryer. I said I bought one. Oh, for somebody? Man, met Bruce Strangle me, you know? <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> if you are watching this, I did not... I'm still on my diet and I'm still exercising. I did not buy one of these for myself. I bought it for a friend. It was on her birthday friend. wish list. Friend. Stop it. It was so on her fryer. wish list and I got it for her. So let's let's move on. Let's save, <laughs> let's, let's save you the problems you're going to have with your fitness coach. Um, yes. Yeah, so we realized that certain people, we're not calling on them because we don't want, but we're Jamaicans and we know what we're talking about. Certain people decide to say they're not going to do certain things. So you know, so we don't really have. We can't really get the necessary things to clean these, so we can get the disposables. So what she's not saying, and she's being very good about it, is that we know that in some cases, although you really want and at to the time take when the your government time says for washing your hands, to thoroughly wash your hands and wash your pots and wash your sometimes you want a gun. Yes, so we have disposables. You can use them. You can get them, and them them come with. Some covered Top. covers. Some covered covers, yes. Right, this one. Mm -hmm. You just cover it up and then you just press it down like this. And you fold the edges in. Mm -hmm. So why this is great, okay, you're talking about like two things at the same time. You're baking or cooking when it's harder maybe to wash up mm -hmm. after. But additionally, these are really, really easy to use. And in cases where they come with the lid, this can go straight from your... You, you cook in it. Take it out of the oven or whatever. You provide some. Right, and then it can be stored like this as well. You can mm -hmm. actually put this in your fridge or your freezer if you need, if you have the space and you need to. So I actually think it's great to keep these around. And Bashko has a lot of sizes. We yeah. have a lot of styles in these. Okay. Also, you have useful. some people who actually wash them too. You know. I do. Wash them and use them. I wash them and reuse them. Yeah. Okay. But this is also useful. Now, we know that there's a limit to how much moving around everybody can do. Mm -hmm. But you can provide maybe a care package, maybe a cook meal for, say, a family or someone in your community or whatever. And this is great. So you can cook it in Use this. Use a social distance and give it. Three feet. You just put mm -hmm. it down. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> right, but so. I mean, yeah, it's good. And then for per per parents who have the children at home, you can put little snacks and whatever in there. Because you know they're going to eat off all of the food. You don't want them to eat off all of the food. So you just portion put it out, out yes. and put it in the, in the containers. And then they'll have them to eat. So along with these ones, we didn't get to mention these yet. Yeah. But these are cool. I've never actually done a chiffon cake in this before. That so. is a disposable bunt. Um, pan. Mm -hmm. I have and before Bashko, I've never seen this before, and that's really cool. So let's say, while well, we know that some businesses, and and they, they can't, what's it? They can't really entertain persons inside. But let's say you're a baker. You are. You still have orders. You still want to fulfill that. But you don't necessarily. You know, I'm just saying in, in different scenarios you might find yourself in. Yeah, this with the whole actually, water thing. Ah, you can't get it. All right. So we have these available for you guys as mm -hmm. well. You know what? You can actually steam vegetables in this. I had seen somebody do it because of the, the, the space in the middle. You can actually roast vegetables in this as well. If, nice. you're, if you especially don't want the flavors to mingle, mm -hmm. right? So you have a little space, so you put a particular, like say carrots or whatever on one side because carrots have a higher sugar content. So they're going to brown faster on one side. They're going to, the flavors are going to seep into the rest of the food. Just an idea, something you want to, to be aware of. And then, of course, we have this one. So um, it's a, a standard-ish. It seems a bit thicker. Standard cake pan. Yeah. Right? But really cool again. See? I didn't know. I didn't check. Hmm. 255 by 77. It's millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, we'll have them, right? And you know what's really cool too? What's what that? we'll have? What's that? We found this. 
Tell them, because we didn't even, this is like a, an accidental, we're like, oh, this is such a good idea. Go ahead. So we're walking around because we're looking for spray bottles because we're saying, oh, people would want spray bottles. And I was like, oh, but we could actually use this. We could put a sanitizer. I have one, but it's like smaller. I ordered it somewhere and I <laughs> use it. <laughs> I, I use it as my sanitizer bottle now. So I mean, you can, uh, you can put sanitizer in there, you can just... Sanitizer or your own alcohol preparation, guys. If you, you don't necessarily you... have to use it in the kitchen alone. Sorry. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also use, if it's hand sanitizer, you want to um, distribute it into a smaller container or just alcohol, mm -hmm. right? 70% alcohol. We spoke about this on the Info Corner video, guys. You guys are going to see it in here as well. Uh, just some advice for you. If you do want alcohol to be used for your sanitizing and sanitization, mm. it, it should really be anywhere between 60, 60. to 70 percent alcohol. Yeah. I know you can get 50, you can get 40. Those are okay, but that's not the strength you want when you want to really kill this germ. Okay, guys, just bear that in mind again. But yeah, you can use that in this. Um, I guess you're right. With the hand sanitizer, be a bit thicker, but the alcohol might be a bit thinner. So you can. You can just tweak it, but it's a really good idea. It can work. It can. Yeah. Okay. I will have frying pans. This is the thing we're talking about. So you. Non-stick. Of course. Ah, PTFE. <laughs> Polytetrafluoroethylene non-stick coating. You remember that? High five. Ah. Okay. One of the things we thought we'd talk to you guys about is that you're in a situation where it might be harder to go. It might be harder to to get food outside. You need to be cooking at home. So yeah. we want to remind you that for any cooking you're doing in your space. And since we already buy up everything in other supermarkets anyways, <laughs> might as well cook them before they go off. Pan we. Yes. So various sizes, various styles. This is just one brand. This is the classic cook brand. And you can I have that at home. Good, me too. Uh, classic cook brands, we, you guys know we have the Imusa pots, I, Imusa brand Musa. pots. Musa. We also have, we still have the cast iron skillets. If you guys are still looking for those, we do have some as well. I love cast iron skillet for doing meats and stuff. But these are actually really good, um, multiple sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 30 centimeter, that's a 20, and we have a 24, 24. Right there. Mm -hmm. So, and the nice thing about it is that it can be used on pretty much every type of cooktop surface. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some pans that you can't use on certain surfaces. Okay? Good. And of course, your traditional dutchie. I'm sorry, did I hit your hand? No. Good. So, it's here guys, we have this, and we also, it couldn't fit on our table, we also have the, the big soup pots. Yeah, the so, big ones. Yeah, like. we have those. Okay, so we guys, we have you covered. You have to cook at home, you have to cook in your own space for your family. They're all home, they're all in the space. I'm a no more than 20 person. Okay guys, we keep your social gatherings. As a matter of fact, social distancing. Go for this one. 20 at all. <laughs> all right, so little, little tidbit. Once you're, you know, a full size adult, not a, not a, I'm a little bit miniaturized adult, but once you're a full size adult, you want to keep social distancing. The rule of thumb is if you can extend your hand fully from your shoulder to your fingertips and you're not touching someone, it's about three feet. Okay, just so my arm is a little short. <laughs> but, <laughs> but generally speaking. <laughs> arm's length, guys. Arm's length. arm's length. Okay. What else do we have up here? We have things for the Pikini Dam, and the we have dam. things for the gym people. The people, gym people. Who, people who are depressed because they can't go into the gym like myself. Mm. We'll have stuff for them. Yoga mats. You can, for those of you who have the pit in them, I make all the nice on it. I don't know, can I practice some? Some, some meditations. <laughs> yes. We have yoga mats to come. We, <laughs> <stay> calm. <laughs> I'll have play mats. Now, this is good. This can actually use for the parents who, who have schedules for their children. I saw that. I saw you that see, around, yeah. there's a lot of them who say, oh, PE time. See, Matthew, put them on it, make them run up and down in a circle till them tired, do two jumping jacks, well, one side. do something. It's a play mat. It's a really nice play mat. So let's see, can you hold it up? Let's hold it up. All right, so it's a really nice play mat, whether they be with their toys or you just want them to have something when they're on the ground. As you saw, it was well folded up. It comes with a little string to tie it up on the inside. So this is great to keep your kids occupied. Uh, it, once you finish following that, that schedule of, of, as you say, either PE or work time or study time. Yeah. I want to applaud the... The, the ministry. Yeah, because they've really come together in this time when people are a bit confused, they're scared, and given you a lot of information. And we're doing our part as well to keep you guys informed about what you can use and what you can be doing in your time and your space. I want to talk about the yoga mats for a little bit, because one of the things that people are panicking about, because it's a time of fitness and people are 
you know, they're trying to stay in shape, they want to do their stuff, but you know, maybe they can't go out to okay. do some of those exercises. All right, so if you know about this kind of stuff, body weight exercises and, and home cardio, home core exercises are going to be your mainstay for a little while. Yoga mat is your friend, okay? So we have a lot of sizes of yoga mat. Some of them are longer than others. Yeah. Um, and this is a nice one. This one comes in its own handy dandy carrying case. He he he. All right. You can't just throw it over your shoulder with it. Well, you're not going nowhere really, but you can't throw it over your shoulder anyway. Yes, you can go in a, in a room where you hide it, and you throw it over your shoulder, and you walk go in your living room, and then you go so. So you feel like you went to the gym? Yeah. Yeah, hey. You walk. So I'm sure they're, they're, so this is like, I think it's the same thing? No, no this one is bigger. I get to pull the wrapper. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm too short. I'm disappearing. I'm disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Can you hold it? Yes, I can. This is actually a really good size yoga mat. Okay. Yeah. Now we use the term yoga mat. It's really anything on the ground mat if you want. Um, yoga is just one type of exercise you could do. You could do any type of body weight work, floor exercise with this thing. And you can carry go around and back go lay down under the mango tree or the apple tree. Not call the name. I guess. Just, <laughs> just saying, you know, for those people who want to connect with nature and all. But you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. It's yours. And if you get enough of them, you could just make a, a, a floor softer. If kids are going to be on the floor as well, if you want to use yoga mats for that purpose. Yeah. And we have them in a variety of colors and styles available, guys. Yeah. Okay. I we said earlier that the ministry has put in place educational things for, for children to do while they're at home. Right. And some schools, you know, some schools keep a locker for your children. So all the stuff that you bought for them in September would have been in their specific lockers at school. And you may not have them to so take So you won't you. necessarily have these things at home. Mm -hmm. But Bashka has things that you can use for them. Yeah, for some of that stuff at least. Yeah. So their craft time, their art time. Uh, we have a lot of stuff. I actually have. love this. I think I'll get it. Oh, for somebody. For somebody. Yes. For someone's for someone's gift list. Yes. Yeah. You're such a you're such a giving person, I thought. That's so giving. Yes. So giving. Right? Oh, this is so cool. This is cool. I wanted to talk about this. Why right? didn't they have that when I was in school? How'd I get less beaten, you know? This is really cool. I'd have been so great at maths right now. All right, so in our stores, guys, I saw this and we wanted to make sure we mentioned it. So when it comes it's to so math cool. time, if you want your kids to stay in tune, because mathematics is one of those things that it gives a lot of people, a lot of children, a lot of grown folks, stress. it gives them challenges. With, and stress. With, yeah, it, it, not everyone, but there are definitely some people <laughs> who suffer <laughs> when they are outside waving at them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have certain issues, but these are great. This is a uh, a mathematics flashcard. Now, when I saw, it, I only brought the the, the multiplication one, but we have but division. There are there's addition. Yeah. This is a great, great gift, a great tool to use with your kids uh, to help them stay in tune, and even for yourself. I mean, everyone has their smartphone with their brain training apps. Huh? <laughs> flashcards. See it there. Training <laughs> brain on that. There you go. Yeah. All right. So I saw crayons, pretty colors, pencils. pretty pencils. Right. No reason not to let the kids get excited about that time. <laughs> that Pray small little space. Yeah. Because we talk about this in about, you know, all we Jamaican parents stay. Create one little space for them because they're going to paint up on a the wall. Them. We don't want the wall to paint up. We'll give them one, one of them. Recommendation. See? Watercolor paints, guys. Use watercolor paints. Yeah. And from experience. It is for come off. Watercolor paints wash off. Oil paints do not wash off. <laughs> you have to paint that over. So and that, it's, it's a hurtful time. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody I'm felt it. By. Somebody felt it in the crowd. Oh, somebody felt it. Yeah, man. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have sketch pads for, those, for the children who can draw, want to draw, want to learn to draw, or whatever, we'll have them. There's something about having these handy, and I was talking to a teacher about it. When, you, when a child is being creative, you want them to have as much access to creative tools yeah. in their space, because there's times when they'll just feel it. And like, for instance, my son is a lot like me, we're not a patient for nothing, but when I, the stuff is in his space, he'll all of a sudden, daddy, can I color? Daddy, can I, can I? And if it's not there, you're gonna miss that moment. Yeah. So you wanna have that in his space. You wanna have that around him, him or her, and they have the access to do that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's great to have it. And we have this giant coloring 
book. You can't call it book. It said coloring pages, but it's really a cover around a bunch of papers. But it's great. Yeah. You know. So you're talking about keeping your kids occupied. We, we spoke a lot about that. I mean, if you're going to be, you're following the, the ministry standard for the times you want the kids to do stuff. Yes. And even if not, even if you're not following that, but you do want your children to be active. You want them to stay engaged. You want them to stay informed and stay creative and stay learning yeah. for this time that they're at home. So these are all great options for you guys. Now, listen, the adults, we didn't really talk about it, but hey, we got dominoes. Right, so if you have... It's a pretty... It, it's a really nice domino set. So you and your family, you don't want to be watching TV the entire time. You should be exercising, you should be doing some stuff. Play some games with your family in yeah. your own space. Less than 20 persons. Less than 20 some persons. Some people family big. Hi, well, the games will be in four at a time. Four <laughs> at a time, not <laughs> All right, so thank you so much. This has been a great setup. Yeah. Uh, we want to remember, guys, all Bashko stores are open. And remember that all of our Bashko stores also stock grocery, food. food and grocery items. So we have you guys covered. Come out to all of the Bashko stores. Our opening hours have not changed. And as long as we are allowed, we will stay open for you guys. Not in crowds, though. Right. Remember, 20 person at a time. Right. Right. So, I mean, these stores and are pretty big, though. So yeah. there's space. There's not, they're not a, you're not going to be... Bunching up. I don't know. I couldn't find a word. It was just gone. Poof, we're just still go. endorsing the, sh the, the distances. Right. When, you, when you go in the stores, we're endorsing. Absolutely, guys. We are in full um, approval and agreement with all of the mandates handed out by the ministry. And yes. we are doing our best. Um, let's do a quick recap of what we have here. Okay. okay. Um, cooking things. Cooking things. <laughs> You're going to be cooking at home. Yeah. Right. So no matter what your favorite style of cooking you want to fry or saute, or you're roasting. Pot, yeah, you, Dutch pot. Or fire Deep fryer. that I don't have. Deep fryer. <laughs> or squeeze bottles that you can use to sanitize or put oil or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want in there. Mm -hmm. Your baking tins, tins, muffin tins. Baking tins. You can make your own Ooh. bun, your own bread, your own bread anything. pudding, anything yeah. you want, or your own cornbread, it is yours. Make what you want to make with it. So. Right, so your disposable baking things, which are not, you don't have to dispose of them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but they are disposable in all kinds of, of, of a wide, wide variety of styles. Different style, different size, mm -hmm. the whole works. And our yoga mats, or play mats, yep. crayons, sketch pads, coloring book, paint brush, all sorts of excitement for the pit and them. The mathematics flashcards, cards. educational stuff, so you're keeping yourself busy. Yeah. Right? So the guys, thank you. This is this is um this is the stuff that we have here, but there's stuff in store. There's stuff we in store. We want you guys to, to, to go out, come out rather. Once you're in a safe space and you can come out to the bashful stores, as I said, we are open. And when you walk into a bashko store, there will be somebody there to sanitize your hands for you. Mm -hmm. uh, either alcohol or hand sanitizer will be given to you. And our team is making sure we keep the areas clean. Oh, I can't, I can't end and not mention this. I know you guys are all very excited for our customer appreciation, our parties. Yeah. It is our 30th anniversary, but we are following all of the rules of the ministry. Yes. So all events have been canceled slash postponed. Once we Once get we that get the clearance up, from ministry, then we're good to go. And we will let you guys know. So again, the social media is really important. It's easiest yeah. way to quickly, quickly keep in touch with you guys so that you know something is changing. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Bashko Show. Whether it was a good morning or a good evening or, or a good night, all right, whatever. Or a it was. good day or a good whatever it was. <laughs> we just hope it was good. Yeah. And stay safe, guys. See you next time. Bye, guys.